into the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Put your lighters up, everybody. The light is up. So sad. So sad. <laughs> How <Goodbye>. appropriate. <laughs> hey everybody, we're here for another recap of Red Band Society. It's the finale this season. Season 1, episode 10, What I Did for Love. Hopefully they release the last three episodes and this isn't our officially last episode. Hopefully we can come back and talk about the We last have a lot to still talk uh, about. Yeah, yeah. Talk so about. much happened. They How cannot dare do that they? Place. How ah, dare they cancel how rude. this show? I can't oh believe gosh. we did this. Huh. Well, <laughs> before we start, I'm your host, Francisco Thurston, and we're back finally for a full panel. All four of us are here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Heather Joy Smith. Hey, I'm Heather Cruz. Hey, I'm Michelle Fee. Yay! Woo! We're here. Woo! Season finale. We have lots to talk about. Lots went down tonight. and mm-hmm. A lot. A mm-hmm. lot. And I can't believe the cliffhanger they would leave us on right. if that yeah. was the ending. Oh, I'm get so there. upset right now. So upset. Guys. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I like have I nothing think... to say because it was just so upsetting. Like yeah. I think How they're gonna they release it. I feel like they are. They have to. They have to. Well they did with selfie. True. So. And if they did it with selfie. That's what I was reading. I was reading <laughs> yeah. online that the um, creators and everything, the producers were hopeful that if, you know, Fox doesn't green light the final three episodes, that they would be able to digitally release the episode somehow. So mm-hmm. All of us will be able to see what happens. Cross and fingers. Fingers crossed. Yes. And while it was taken off the, you know, the lineup for Fox, who knows? Anything's possible. Someone else could pick it up. No. Someone else could pick it up. Crossing fingers again. Yeah. yeah. Anything is possible, but you know, that's. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but we open up the episode tonight with Doctor Naday and Charlie and Nurse Jackson. Ooh, mm-hmm. snap! Oh. I did not see that coming. I didn't either. either. Me neither. <laughs> I mean, wow, flirtation going on. Flirtation. More than flirtation. It was yeah. like, hello, I like you. Like pretty much, that was it. Who would have known? That's true. <laughs> who would have known that with her going out of her way to falsify the whole blood thing with Charlie and mm-hmm. you know trying to get this doctor to come to the hospital that they would wind up together? Like, I mean, I didn't see that coming at all. Well, no, because he was kind of crazy to yeah. begin with. Yeah. Like, I would have been a little concerned if she was going after him in the mid right. beginning. <laughs> <laughs> He's tamed no, down. You know, but like, I never would have thought after all of that, after yeah. you know her being suspended, and it just f- comes to her. Falling for this guy that yeah. you know, and came he here fell for, for her too. But do you think though she wanted him for that very reason? Like that was like an underlying reason that we didn't see until no, now. No, because they never showed him until he showed up. I feel like she, I feel yeah. like there would have been like a scene where she'd have been like, "Look, here he is." Mm, you know, yeah. kind of yeah. one of those scenes, like a photo of him or something. Yeah, something. Yeah. They didn't know. But he laid it on. Yeah, yes, I was did. annoyed by him, to be honest. <laughs> he was very sensitive and very, like, Gosh, a lot. He was kind of like a girl. <laughs> he's kind of like, like the boy version of Britney over here. Oh, snap. Oh, uh, you're I right. Agree. You are so right. Mm. Wow. And Miss Jackson, I feel like she wants to kind of pursue this, but it's not in her personality to do something yeah. like this. Yeah. True, so true. she's holding back and kind of putting up a wall because that's not supposed to be who she is. Well, opposites mm. attract because as she's pulling away, he's all like, I want to take you to dinner. My hotel's just around the corner. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like this. She's like, okay, but no. Okay, but no. Okay. Yeah. We have so... puppets for them now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're puppets. <laughs> But uh, I kind of feel like, okay, she said, okay, let's have dinner at my house. That's on her turf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When he came back and said, let's have dinner at my hotel, that's when I think she was like, uh, no, you are coming to my house on my turf. I'm not going to your turf. I think she yeah. got scared off because she found out that Brittany and Mick Andrews got together. Yes. And they were yeah. like, there was tension, weirdness going on. Yeah, totally. I think she was definitely like, mm, maybe I should rethink this whole 
getting fraternizing with the co-worker thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Well, he doesn't normally work at the hospital, I know, though, that's you know? I don't understand yeah, it either. He's, he's not here, like, full-time. We're going to be here for months from hey, now. I'm all for them getting right. together. Totally. Go for it. Me get too. Get Jackson. She needs Will some loving, too. Will we ever <laughs> know if they get together? I hope so. I think that would be a good <laughs> distressitizer. Yes, yeah. she does need a de-stressitizer. <laughs> she, she needs a man in her life. You yeah, know, she does. To she hold do. it down when mm-hmm. she's stressed mm-hmm. out, and she just needs. She needs someone to cook for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't cook. That's exactly. perfect. Perfect. She needs to cook for him. Oh, I thought you said she needs someone to cook. For. No, 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 no. She needs someone to cook for. Yeah, got it. She needs she to, she cook. to cook for cook. us. Oh, totally. I'm fine with it. I mean, <laughs> she needs to come up behind him and do that whole like kitchen oh, love scene yes. with like oh, the hand and the flower and baking. <laughs> We're not gonna Let's ghost not. it up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Come on. No. One can hope. I hope for you, Nurse Jackson, that you get some loving in your life. <laughs> <laughs> she needs it. She needs it. Oh, gosh. Um, so, Dr. Um, Nade and Nurse Jackson, done. We fit, we know what's happening with them. But we do, do but we? we don't but know we what's don't happening. Know. We, we do, but we, we don't. Know. We, do, we, we don't. We see a kiss, and, yes. oh, yeah, you know, kiss. the kiss mm. is like... And the kiss leads Charlie to make his first movements. The mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Which he, Dr. Nadei has been so, you know, trying so hard to get him to make at least one movement with his finger. Mm-hmm. And he finally got the thumbs up. Maybe because of something that stimulated his mind, something positive, something happy. Maybe. Yeah. Well, remember when Dr. Nadei was saying that he's trying to figure out what's stopping Charlie from actually making yes. another movement? Maybe it's Nurse Jackson that he needs to open up because she's like Maybe. always been in contact with him. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. motherly so, figure. Right. And. I mean, that kiss made him yeah. do he a was thumbs happy up. For so. Something stimulated his yeah. brain. Yeah. Well, Charlie's getting better. That's good news. Yes. That, yes. Is, good, that very is very good, good news. news. He's yeah. not dying. And he's awake. <laughs> we know him. He's yeah. awake. He's yes. awake and he's not dying. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're on a good path for Charlie. Charlie's yes. good. Other mm-hmm. characters? Not so good. Not, not so, so much. Good. Like <laughs> Emma, for instance. Oh, gosh. <sighs> I feel like Emma, her Emma. story was the most tragic of this episode. I think yeah. so. Oh, definitely. Um, and, uh, man, she is going through it. You mm-hmm. know, we've been asking for weeks now to get her backstory. Mm-hmm. What is her relationship? Mm-hmm. Why isn't her parents coming to visit her? Yeah, now we know. And now we know. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, the whole grandma situation. Mm-hmm. Her grandma I didn't died. realize that anorexia was hereditary. I had, I didn't know that. I don't I I know that either. I things every day. Interesting. Watching this show. I didn't know, I had no idea that. I felt like that was like a a personal like chemical yeah. imbalance. Yeah. I didn't know that it was something that could be carried down. And if that's the case, man, that is kind of crazy. I really cause... felt I felt bad for Emma in this episode because granted she is not trying very hard, mm-hmm. but her parents, especially her mom, mm-hmm. is not really giving her much of a reason to. She's still kind of like in denial. I feel like yeah. Yeah. her daughter I feel like her mom wants to help her, but she also just doesn't know how to. Right. You yes. know when you think you know it all and you know what, you know, I know yep. what's best for you. I feel yeah. like that's what her mom's doing. Uh-huh. Well, I went to support groups and I did this and that, so I still, now I know what to say, but. It's but like she, she really doesn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was going to these support groups, but she wasn't going to support her, her daughter, daughter. Yeah. who needed her support the most, who noticed she wasn't coming there. And that's not going to help Emma in any way. Mm-mm. Right. You need you need that family support. You need that moral support, and her dad is just not enough. You know, yeah. it's one thing for your dad, your daddy's girl, but mom and daughter relationships, I feel like, are mm-hmm. something that it's completely different. Yeah, but I think you know, seeing her sister in this episode, mm-hmm. seeing how she talked to her sister, and that whole you know communication between the two of them. I feel like if there was anybody in her family who could help her get better, yep. it's mm-hmm. the little sister, and she would do it for her little sister. But even mm-hmm. the little sister was getting annoyed by the end of it. Like, when they were at the table, mm-hmm. and, you know, the mom was being kind of rude, to be honest. First yeah. night back, you're yeah. kind of clean your plate. Like, okay. Yeah. Like, kind of no, like a little slack. Yeah. And then the sister get slow. all got all upset. I feel like... You know, in some ways, it probably did tear up the family for a little while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Her parents are assuming that she's better. Mm-hmm. Because that's what she said. That's yeah. what she let on. So now her parents are trying to do what the hospital was doing with her, but it really wasn't working for Emma in the first place. So exactly. they're kind of going off of false, you know, information and falling down that road that the hospital's mm-hmm. trying to do, but it's not, you know, Emma kind of put it on herself that this happened because she mm-hmm. brought it on herself mm-hmm. for lying and pretending that she's better. So... It's kind of crazy. 
And it pushes her to become not only anorexic, but now bulimic. Yeah. Oh, gosh. For at least this one time. Yeah. I, yeah, wait, didn't she never done that before uh-uh. this, this season? No. Especially when she was hanging out with Leo. She didn't really... Yeah. yeah. I feel like the amount of food, though, that she was eating in the hospital compared to that... I mean... If she had her plate, yeah. That dinner plate had more food on it than she probably ate the entire time she mm-hmm. was in the yeah. hospital. That's a lot of chicken. That was, <laughs> that was a lot of chicken. Stuff. It, it looked like good. It looked like grass like, today. Yeah, I, was like, like, I would like some today. mashed potatoes now, yeah, right? <laughs> I had some earlier. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> you too. <sighs> um, yeah, that's a lot of food for one mm-hmm. girl to handle who was not eating yeah. at all. Yeah. So that's very... Why do you think she passed out? She get. I felt like I felt it was weird her the whole dizzy spell. I felt like that was a little strange because like she hadn't gotten dizzy one time this whole time, and she still hasn't been eating, and she's been running around Los Angeles with these boys like yeah. yeah. And not one time has she gotten dizzy, but when she climbs one step, I don't know. I thought it was a little yeah. weird. I thought it was weird. I think it was probably just the writing in the show to kind of make yeah, it a foreshadowing little bit more yeah. dramatic, and I think. Because of the whole getting dizzy, that's probably why she passed out. Is because when she did throw up, it just Not triggered. Throw out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's a different environment too. Mm-hmm. You know, she was around people that her friends, and it was, she was used to the hospital. Now she's back home where she's not comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, her mom didn't come to see her. Now she's back at home where all this was, and she finds an old sandwich in her Ugh. drawer. Yeah, that. yeah. Like, you know, that was weird. It's stressful and it takes a toll on your mind, I guess. And she finds out her grandma was anorexic and was hiding food as well and it mm-hmm. kind of hits home for her yeah but yeah still doesn't do anything she makes herself throw up after dinner something's not hitting home for her yet and it's, yeah and it's you know it's one of those things that you'll probably never understand unless you're that person going mm-hmm. through that thing and don't know what it's like to be mm-hmm. having an eating disorder and we will never understand because it's the last episode <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so so what happened to you, Emma? What happened? <laughs> I hope we find out. Me too. I hope, I hope there's a happy ending for Emma at some point or another. There needs um, to be. She she needs to, she needs to pull it together. She does. But if it's if it's a hereditary thing, that's yeah, difficult. Yeah, it is yeah. difficult for sure. For sure. She needs a close watched like she needs to be somewhere where people are monitoring her at all times, like a very focused center. hospital. Yeah. yeah. Not at this, like, big children's hospital. She needs yeah. to be at, like, a, a center. Yes. Like she rehab. There were, I wonder if, I mean, because in the beginning they showed some other, like, patients and stuff that had, because she didn't want to sit with them at the table. She mm-hmm. kind of excluded herself. She should have been more inviting to the other people that were struggling. Because she said yeah. she felt so alone. Mm-hmm. But there were people there that could have helped her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. or at least, you know, empathized with her. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Emma. So many things. So much uh, is going on. We'll never know, guys. We'll never, know. never know. See, Fox? What the heck? What have you done to us, Fox? What the heck? Um, and next, I think, Jordy. You know, he's mm-hmm. big. Struggling. Struggling us. He gets a, uh, what is it called? A PET scan and finds out that he has. The tumors have shrunk a little bit, but it's still not to where they think it should be. And Dr. McAndrew, his ego, he's like, I know, <laughs> I know, I've dealt with tumors that large before, so I can operate on that tumor. But people say that you need another round of chemo. And since he's not emancipated, the state is like, no, we, he thinks he knows that he, well, <laughs> he, thinks he, knows that. he thinks he needs another oh, really? round of chemo. Um, and so he's a little drug pan- panhandler over there. Yeah. I just don't understand why he didn't ask for like Mick Andrews for the money because he only he got like a hundred bucks last week he only needed right. like what Two, 300 200 three. more dollars he only needed like 95 more dollars yeah I think Mick Andrews can give him yeah $95. I don't know why he didn't I, I just didn't understand that I don't know I guess it's the easy way out to yeah. like I think I it's like too the much easy pride way out. yeah, yeah. Pride yeah. For a sure. lot of these kids have a lot of pride there's yeah. too much I feel pride like that's what it is. he's dealt with this with his you know he can't ask his mom for anything because mm-hmm. like you know that's kind of part of growing up he never could ask his mom for anything so he's yeah. very independent and very mm-hmm. you know has a lot of pride so he's not going to ask dr mcandrew to help him either True. you know 
he's going to find his own way, which he's done well, his entire life. Life right. or death, I think I might have just asked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get yeah. the surgery and live. Another round of chemo, possibly die. Hey, buddy, $95. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And Dr. McAndrew is probably making lots of money. Uh, yeah, he's oh, a surgeon. Yeah, for sure. He could have afforded $95. That's yeah. like pocket change to him. Let's so be think, honest here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is the check? <laughs> Or maybe he'll just wind up doing it anyways. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Something's going to happen. Well, we'll never know. Dr. But... McAndrew adopts Jordy. <laughs> that, that's not that night the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But no. Hmm. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Come on, Jordy. It would have been too easy. Yeah. You're right. But he got some hot, steamy action at the beginning. Uh, yeah. I was like, hello, girl. Coming He's in. He's just... all kinds of hot, steamy action this mm -hmm. season. I've never in my life just went up to somebody and started making out with them. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> How would you react to that? Like, if someone just went up to you? If he looked like Dr. Know. McAndrews, I would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, whatever. But yeah. That girl kind of looked, I'm not going to lie, she was kind of a little bit scary looking. Not, <laughs> I guess not scary looking, but... Not my cup of tea if I was trying to, you know, attract right. a woman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was a little forceful. It was very forceful. He was laying in bed and he, I felt like he got attacked, just mauled. <laughs> she totally him. did. She like jumped right on him. I don't understand. Like, okay, like you escort this visitor to go see your patient and then the lady just like attacks him. We're just going to stand here and look surprised. And like, then he walked away. Okay. The the nurse guy walked away. What is his name? Sorry. Kenji. Blanking. Kenji. 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 Uh, Francisco. Kenji just <laughs> yeah. walked away like it was supposed to happen in the yeah, hospital. Yeah, right. He's like, okay, all right, see you later. How about, you um, no, how about, excuse me, ma'am. Do a little <laughs> force here, Kenji. I bet Kenji probably thought that was his girlfriend or something. Probably. Well, Kenji has been in and out this season, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Jordy's a pimp. <laughs> well, seriously, he is. He's getting played in the hospital. He doesn't even try, though. He just he stands really there. Sad puppy eyes. I have cancer. He's and cute. everybody's just it like, works. bam. Well, he's got to have something good going for him. Yeah. He's had a hard season, you guys. He has. It's a very hard one. He lost Emma. Yeah. Uh, some kind of loving. Lost Snap. his mom. Lost Emma. Lost the lost manager. Him. Yeah. He's just losing. But he didn't lose his leg. That's true. <laughs> there he wins. You're a winner. Yay! Yay! You're a winner. So far, so but hard. we will never find we'll out. We'll never know. <laughs> for advanced society. So sad. Um, and he goes to sell drugs to Miss Alexa. <laughs> and from, this could be the, like his autobiography, 10 years down the road, from cancer to drug dealer <laughs> to pop musician. <laughs> true life. There you right. Go. The e, true Hollywood story. Oh, there you go. I've, I've got you. I've got you. <laughs> Sorry. True life is it's totally different. <laughs> a little. A little different. Little, little, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I loved Kara in this episode. Oh, yes. yes. I, I feel like there was the so much character development for her yeah. like yes. in this very last episode. Exactly. Which I felt like we all kind of predicted from the beginning that Kara mm -hmm. was going to go through this story and things were going to, you know, make her learn about change herself and change heart, her. Change of heart, pun intended. And she did. She did. Well... <laughs> Well, Multiple change of heart of where her heart belongs to, too. <laughs> oh, get there. Like, my gosh. Jeez. She's all happy and excited to go see what's happening with Hunter. She's like, oh, his parents are here. It's going to go spy. Gonna, like, carousel. <laughs> I love your care of boys. <laughs> and then she finds out he's leaving, and she's like, man. That's really upset. Screw you. Yeah, she did get really upset. Fine. Go live your life. Y'all have only known you for two days. How dare you? Yeah, she right. puts on her, like, so defense face. Mm -hmm. She's like, I don't care about you. You. She has the best defense yeah. face there is. It's just like, she's I, like, I like her. I like her so much. <laughs> she should be besties with us. Hey, Kara. We have a seat for you right here. Uh -huh. If there were any more shows, but <laughs> alas. But there's not. There will, oh. there will be. There will be. Positivity. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kara puts on that defense face and she wants to leave that hospital. I mean, when you're in those moments where you're just feeling frustrated, you just want to get out and mm -hmm. leave and just breathe and not being around anything that has to deal with whatever you're, you know, upset with. So she yeah. leaves and Leo's crashing that party, but <laughs> for a good reason. <laughs> well, his, the Emma. his intentions yeah. were different. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The exactly. But then they had a breakthrough moment on the soccer field. The sun was setting. It was magic. She showed him who he, you know, used to be. I like yeah. that scene, though, because yeah, it, it really kind of was like a turning point for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her, yeah. You know? 
and I love her line. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bash her transformer leg yeah. into your Apache head. Oh, what was the other one? <laughs> Sleeps with cancer or something. May I sleep with cancer? Oh yeah, I forget that one. Oh, I don't. I didn't even write Rolling that one down. <laughs> she has the best lines. She, she really does. does. Those writers are making her just as bitchy as possible. I yeah. love it. I love it as though. As much as they can get away with. Yeah. yeah, she's great. She is great. She's hilarious, and it wouldn't work if the actress didn't know how to deliver. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. So she's, she's great. she's killing it, you know? I love it. Um, but Kara and Leo. <laughs> I actually kind of like them together. <laughs> really? What? I think they make a good-looking couple. Is that just me? Yeah. It's totally yeah. opposites attract yeah. in this totally situation. Opposites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I felt like this was going to happen from the beginning. Kara and Leo shared a moment. Was it at the begin- um, first episode? I think, yeah, either the first or the second one. When Did they were on the rooftop. Or something. Oh yeah, and, and then there was the dance. And the dance. Mm-hmm. There's always been some kind of like little sparks chemistry between them, and I had a feeling if Emma didn't get in the way the first, you know, the yeah. second time around, mm-hmm. that Kara and Leo would kind of end up together. Hmm. But they're kind of a balance, you know. Yeah. If mm-hmm. it were to go beyond this hookup, mm-hmm. say it does, I think that Kara and Leo are a good balance for each other. Yeah, they can like they each bring something to the table for each other. Mm-hmm. And I think they could, or like at least he could teach her something. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I like Hunter and Kara way better. I, I do. I do too. I'm I do totally too. for Hunter and Kara still. I'm definitely for Hunter and Kara. I like that relationship. I think they're meant for each other, Hunter and Kara. Well, like you just said they were meant, Leo and Kara were no, meant no, no, for no, each no. other. No, I'm just saying like opposites attract. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. if it were to go beyond this physical hookup, mm-hmm. I think it could be go- It could be a good thing. You know, Hunt- Kara and Leo could teach each other things. You know, Kara yeah. gives Leo a little bit of sass and knows how to be aggressive and be confident. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Leo can teach her how to be humble and, you know, yeah. nice. Yeah, and nice. A nice person. It's a good balance. Seriously. But I'm totally Hunter and Kara. What's yes. a good nickname for them? Hera? Hera. <laughs> not the real one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that one. Uh, not that one. <laughs> okay, I guess there's not People have a red band. Let us know yeah. what their ship name is. What, their, what should their ship name be? There's only one. It can only be Hera. 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 Hunter? Hunter? I don't know. Don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> but I love them. And yeah. <laughs> It's too funny. Oh, <laughs> excuse me while I'm I just so go down right here. <laughs> it's over your head. I will tell it you later. Don't worry about it. I will it, tell you later. We'll tell you later after, after the show. It's totally whatever. Right. Right. Hashtag write it out and you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> or say just, it in your head. <laughs> just not out loud. Oh I really gosh. can't right now, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and moving on to moving Hunter. Moving on. It was so hot and embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my god. Since we're on the topic of Hunter, we should talk about Hunter. His beeper goes off and he's gonna get a living. Yay! Everybody cheers. At first I thought someone's phone was buzzing yeah. when we were watching the episode. I was like, oh, my phone. Cheese Michelle, take, play your phone. Uh, Sorry guys. It's rude. This is a movie theater. Uh, my bad. Uh, I but we find out he's his beeper is going off and he's gonna get a liver. Yay! Yay! But I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. I predicted this from the beginning. He's gonna die. He's we gonna... will never know, but he's gonna die. Or we will know if they release the three episodes. True. They have to. They will. But he's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> She's so I adamant hope he about doesn't, this. though. I so hope he does. No, doesn't. I really like him, too. Yeah. I do. And I like him and Kara together. Mm-hmm. But. He's gonna die. I just feel it. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, someone has to die. This I feel season. like I feel like the two. I feel like there was a reason behind why he asked for whose yeah. liver that was. Yeah. Yeah. There's too. gotta be something. Okay, with that. but Steven. also also the letter to Kara that he gave yes. to Dash, like Exactly. He's foreshadowing his own demise yeah. as well. If I don't wake up, you know, he's yeah. the most dramatic of yeah. all of them. <laughs> if I don't wake up, mm-hmm. give this to Kara. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And then he was like, catch you on the flip side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I love that conversation between Dash Great and Great conversation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. And you know what? It's so true because Dash has always been like the number two, yeah. whether it's Jordy or Kara calling mm-hmm. the shots or Leo. And Hunter's like here being like, hello, 
you could be the leader. Mm-hmm. He is well, the leader. Is I feel leader. he is the leader. He's just kind of he's the glue. Back. He's the yeah. glue to like everything. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He's the one that's holding down the fort the entire time. But he's so humble and like in it and knows what's going in that right. he knows how to take a back seat and like let people do their thing while still kind of being the glue that holds people together. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what makes him a good leader is that people he doesn't necessarily have to force himself on people, but he just knows how to be that way without being too forceful. Being yeah. There. Yeah. But it was nice that Hunter reassured Dash that, you know, he's like, dude, you're you're a good guy. Like yeah. you're 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 everyone's glue. So right. mm-hmm. I love that. And it was a sense that side we got to see to Hunter too. Which is, I mean, oh, we've we seen. Yeah. Hunter sensitive. has been so Hunter. sensitive, yeah. too sensitive. I know, mm-hmm. but you know, it's like with another dude now. It's like, <laughs> yeah, okay, not like right. not like that, but like yeah. he can be beyond like with him and a girl. He's actually a very mm-hmm. yeah. Great. I like Hunter's character. I wish yeah. he didn't have to die. Oh you don't even God. know that yet, though. You don't know that. In my in my <laughs> next three episodes, he doesn't die. <laughs> you guys, I'm just telling you. We can write Did fan I fiction not call? about this, yes. and everyone's just gonna live. <laughs> everyone is gonna live a happy life. Yes, they are. <laughs> did I? Did I not call Brittany and McAndrews? Yeah, but I, I did not want that to happen, and I, <laughs> even though it did, I felt like she was so stupid for believing that he actually liked her. They were yeah. drunk. And they hooked up. No, I'll give her that. There was flirtation throughout totally. the season. Totally. Yeah. The granola bar. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Yeah, exactly. but, the ties. The ties. The, fl- the look. I mean, yeah, he was flirting. I get it. But is Still, it emotional, though? Oh, like, for sure. You know, it's a lot of that, I feel like, even as we as people, we just kind mm-hmm. of sexually flirt with people. We yeah. put that out there, like these sexual flirtatious vibes. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of all we want sometimes. Especially, well, I'm not going to say only men, because girls do it too. But, yeah. like. Dr. McAndrew might have just only wanted a one night stand. Well, well, I, feel, of I agree. He did, of course. I totally agree with that. I mean, it was just harmless flirting, yeah. but she just took it the but, wrong way. But her character would have taken it the wrong way. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Brittany mm-hmm. is the kind of, like, she's really naive and she's mm-hmm. really just sweet and dumb. And McAndrew probably should have seen through that. I am not condoning her actions, by the way. She is crazy right now. Mm-hmm. But I can kind of, like, that scene, I was, I felt bad. Her. Like, you know, She's like, you should be sorry. Not that I've ever yeah. had a one night stand, but I've been there when you thought a guy liked you. And yeah, he, he didn't. He used you for something. Yeah, I mean, it's sure. not a good feeling to feel like you've been used, but yeah, man, sometimes you just gotta learn to. I mean, you are in a workplace, and Dr. McAndrews probably is your colleague. Yeah, your boss. Your boss. Yeah, your boss. Boss. I'm not right. condoning her behavior. She, no. she's yeah. cray cray. She, I think she welcomed it. You know, when you get yourself into those situations, you mm-hmm. kind of welcome yourself to anything being the final result. Yes. And she yeah, should have just gone in like, ex- like hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she took it all personal. Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love, love, loved his little pep pep oh. talk yeah. or whatever oh, yeah. you want to oh, call it. The yeah, slam definitely. down. Like, oh yeah. Whew, I loved it. What did he say to her? It. He was like, Get was over mean. it or get, get out. out. Yeah. Oh yeah, he oh, shut yeah. the door. I thought she was. I thought she was gonna like grab her stuff and leave. I thought she was. She's yeah, like, I had enough. <laughs> well, I'm surprised she didn't get more upset. I am too. Like she, she should have been... yelled back or something. I mean, he was totally he right. He was right. He, he was, was totally right. right. But for her character not to say anything, I'm like, girl, like she was like up. shocked. Yeah. yeah. But maybe she was just like, dang, he's right. He is right. He is right. (laughs) So she was like, oh, crap, I look stupid, so. She (laughs) has been looking stupid for two episodes now, three episodes or whatever. She finally realized it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Road. Hi, Road. That's the episode as far as characters, I feel like. I feel like we covered everything. I feel like we should talk about what predictions for the characters. What do we think that's going to happen? All right. (laughs) The predictions. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> right for it. All right. Yes. Um, okay. Hunter's going to live. First off, Hunter's okay. going to live. I am disagreeing with you on that one. And I think in my world of Red Man society, <laughs> Hunter is going to live. He's going to find out about Kara and Leo, and he is going to be pissed off. Oh, snap. Not happy Mm-mm. at all. Yeah, that's all I got. For you. <laughs> <laughs> She's only concerned about this little triangle. Let's just say I want to see more Hunter in this episode or this show. Yeah, yeah. I love Hunter. I yeah. don't, I really hate to see him die, but 
<laughs> He's gonna die. I feel it. And Tara, because like this whole thing, you gotta like Nurse Jackson, you gotta protect your heart, all this stuff, and you know he's gonna die, and Kara's gonna feel really bad, and she's gonna read that letter because there's no way she's getting a letter if he's alive. She's gonna read it. She's gonna feel really, really bad, and she's gonna change her ways because her main squeeze died, and she's gonna fall into the arms of Leo because Leo and Emma are not getting back together. No, they Le are not. Emma's coming back to the hospital, but it's gonna be on full on like. Lockdown. Lockdown. Her parents are going to be there like every day. It's going to be really annoying. She's going to be really annoyed. I don't know if she's going to get better, though. I don't, I don't still feel like she is. I, just, I don't know. Yeah. Charlie's going to wake up. Mm -hmm. He's going to get better. Happy ending for Charlie. There's yes. your happy ending. <laughs> Yay! And final prediction. Nurse Jackson gets her man. Mick Andrews gets his lady. I'm talking about Grace. I'm yes. on your team now. Oh, yes. we didn't see Grace at I all. know. I was really upset by oh. that. I was I really see them upset. Getting back. They're getting, They're back, getting together, back together, and poor Brittany will go on being naive and alone forever. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> so Damn. Much Awful prediction. I, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, oh God. She's, unless she gets over it, maybe no, not her. I like Brittany. I've I've been her before, you yeah. know. Oh, like, me too. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I have. So. But you know, my 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 current self is looking back at my old self, going, "Girl, you were nuts." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. So yes. that's where that emotion comes from. She's still young. Maybe a hot new nurse. <gasps> oh, or in my doctor. in my red van society, a hot <laughs> new nurse who is just as sweet and naive. Yep. They'll get together. They'll They're get made together. for each other. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everybody pairs off, but it's love. Someone in the books for her. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to top that prediction because that, <laughs> that was, was pretty so darn great. good. That was really good. I mean, good. especially after <sighs> mine. Yeah. But I do I do think Hunter's going to live, though. I'm sorry. Okay. I really, I think Hunter's going to live. I hope he does. I like him, but I, I just don't think so. I think he's going to live, and I think Kara's going to read it anyway. She's going to... Because Dash is going to give her the letter. Yeah. He has it, like, in his grasp. Like, he's going to give it to her. Maybe he'll be mm -hmm. in, like, a coma. Like, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Yeah, yeah, that one. In a minute, me. Possible Inimited death me. or possible life in the balance. He could be in a coma and then. Yeah, I like that better. Charlie will wake up. So then Hunter will then oh. be the narrator. And everyone's oh. trying to help him get out of his coma. Oh, wow. snap. She talked Twist. She talked <laughs> it. Oh, you talked it, girl. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, guys, that just leaves nothing for me. So. <laughs> you have big shoes to follow. You, see, you can you guys, off of our I did. Bed. I like set you guys up to do, you know, greatness. It gets better so and just better, gets better and better. better. No, so it's so all, it's all you. on you. Go. You got this. I'm feeling the heat right you now. Got These this. lights are very bright. Can we turn them down? <laughs> <clears throat> I think that Hunter is going to live, but his the liver is going to be rejected. Like he's there, his oh, body's yeah, not gonna yeah. accept the liver. It's too good to be true. The liver isn't gonna work for him. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, you guys are looking at me. Go <laughs> <laughs> do the characters in your mind. Um, <laughs> I think if any of the characters were to pass away, I think Emma would follow in the footsteps of her grandma. I think that maybe her character would pass away. Interesting. That would be really sad. Mm -hmm. yeah. that would be sad. And you know what? The mom foreshadowed that too, though, because she was like, in my support group, what if the daughters died? Yeah, you're right. <sighs> yeah. Could happen. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. Or Jordy um, pass, passes away from his mm -hmm. That's cancer. a possibility, too. Yeah. Or Dash could die. They all could die. I don't, I don't have any good predictions. <laughs> no. That was great. You just, all of them you could just, die. All of them could die was your prediction. Sure, all of them can die. I just think so. <laughs> I feel like it's too um, too perfect if one of the characters, you know, these all these situations are like real life things and so many people pass mm -hmm. away from cancer. And it's, I mean, and also people survive from cancer. But when I was reading an interview from the um, producers and stuff, they're like, it's kind of good that, you know, Fox only greenlighted us for this season because if it went on for too long, it doesn't make it realistic. Mm -hmm. And, true, you true. know, it kind so of... So maybe they're just going to kill them all off. <laughs> oh, no. Not all of them. <laughs> well, but I, I don't feel know about like, that. I feel like um, a character would die in, a, like, a season, in a, a real, serious finale. like, mm -hmm. show, or yeah. in a real life. I'm sure one of the mm -hmm. whatever. We had talked of about them. that in the beginning. That one of them has to die. Yeah. So I thought it was Hunter because he was like coming in, and then he could just leave, and the core people are still there. True. True. 
I don't know. I don't have any good predictions. You guys, you guys <laughs> no, killed it. Yeah. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone tweeted me actually a picture of me and Hunter, or the actor who plays Hunter. Oh, side by side. Side by side. Yeah. Did you see it? I was like, oh, come on. I'd like to see that picture. I, yeah, yeah, pull it retweet up. Retweet it. Yeah, so we can also yeah. all retweet it. I will. I will. Yeah. I told sure. you. I called it. Yeah. You did. Totally looked know. like you. Well, we are here. I know. To the Cheers, end. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Hopefully, yeah. we'll be back for at least a couple more things if they release the last three episodes. We're keeping yeah. our fingers crossed fingers we'll crossed. be back to cover that stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, if I think tonight's episode showed everybody that those three episodes need to be aired some yes. way, some yes. way. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tweet them. Tweet Red Band Society. Tweet Fox. This is what you could do. This is what you could do to help. Tweet them. So Tweet you them. want those three episodes, I'll do it. Social yep. media is so powerful oh, these days. Oh, so yeah, powerful. Reach Tweet out. Tweet them. Instagram, there's an Instagram account, and I'm sure there's a Facebook. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably mm -hmm. MySpace, too. Spam, <laughs> write letters, make petitions, yes. do everything you can. Petitions, change your world. If a girl can tweet Harry Styles 10,000 times in two days, everyone can tweet Red Band Society 10,000 yes. times in two days. So what? what? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. Boom shakalaka. Yes. Wow. It was not me, though. <laughs> clarifying it was not me. <laughs> We're pretty sure it was Michelle. <laughs> Those oh, you guys caught me. You caught but me. everyone tweet us your predictions too. Yeah. We want to know what yes. you guys think is going to happen in the next three episodes. Yeah, we want to know. But where can they find you? Michelle? They can find me on Twitter and Instagram at underscore Michelle Fee. You can find me on Twitter at Heather underscore Cruz and Instagram Heather Cruz. <laughs> I'm going to make it easy on y'all. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Heather Joy Smith. I'm not going to make it easy for you. <laughs> Good, at least it wasn't me. <laughs> my Twitter is the Francisco. My name is too long, so I can't put it on there as whole. But my Instagram is my full name, Francisco Thurston. Follow me. Follow us. Yay! Thank you guys for tuning in this season. We're all back for the end, but we're all leaving happily together. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.